Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is He who has went, but He will heal us. He has struck us, but He will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, He will raise us up to live in His presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is His coming, and His judgment shines forth like the light of the day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your pride is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, will not spurn. 
it is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness, by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with your sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. Please stand. Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I have a confession to make. Yesterday, I was so mad. Sobrang galit ko po. Kasi, nung dandun po ako sa blessing area natin, I noticed na hindi nasunod yung yung how we organize yung pagbabasbas ng mga sasakyan. Nagalit ako una kasi medyo na-compromise ang ating protocols ng physical distancing. But what really made me angry was the fact that we were not able to give to people what they truly deserve. Yun yung naramdaman ko. Bakit? Kapag ka kasi naging unruly doon sa area na yon, the tendency is nagkakaroon ng misconception kung ano yung pagbabasbas. I think, kapag ka ganun yung nangyayari, people are miseducated of what the blessing truly is. Bakit? meron kasing tendency na kapag ka hindi maayos yung ginagawa doon, ang iniisip ng tao, ang blessing, yung holy water. Na madampian lang ng holy water, it is already blessed. But that is not the case. That is not the case. Whenever we do blessings, whenever we do the sacramentals, Kaya nga ang sabi ko sa tauhan natin dito, isa sa gusto nating ipaabot sa kanila, yung ma-educate na maintindihan ng mga tao na sa pagbabasbas, napaka-importante ng pagdarasal. 
na kulang ang blessing, kulang yung sacramental, kung wala yung pagdarasal. Hindi kumpleto yung pagbabasbas kapag ka yung holy water lang ang dumampi sa atin. That is not the case. Kaya nga, sabi ko, we make it a point na makasama lagi yung mga tao sa pagdarasal. Hindi pwede yung nagbabasbas ka na ng sasakyan, pumapasok pa rin yung mga bagong ipapabasbas natin. Hindi na sila nakasama sa prayer. Baka magkaroon ng misconception. What I wanted was to properly educate people on what the sacramentals truly are. And not only that, I would like people to experience what prayer is. And prayer is a communal activity. It's a communal act. Kaya nga yung sacramentals, yung pagbabasbas, it's a public act. Hindi siya isa-isa lang. Kaya nga hindi pwedeng mabasbasan lang ako ng holy water, I am already good. Nawala yung elemento ng praying together, which is very much essential sa sacramentals. At kapag ka hindi na-experience ng mga tao yun, kapag ka hindi na-experience ng faithful yun, merong kulang. Merong hindi pagkakaintindihan. Kaya nga, kahapon, I was truly apologizing kasi sobrang nagalit ako dahil doon sa experience na yun. Now, why am I sharing this to you? Because I think, That story of what happened yesterday is very much related to our gospel today. Our gospel is about the parable of the two people who were praying. The other one was praying and the character of his prayer was a prayer to himself, represented by the Pharisee. Kaya nga ang prayer niya, Oh God, I thank you. I am not like the rest. I am not greedy. I am not dishonest. I am not adulterous. Nakita niyo yung prayer niya? It is about the self. Ano yung nawala? The very important communal aspect of prayer. That in praying, my dear brothers and sisters, Laging communal act. Hindi tayo mag-isa at hindi para sa atin lamang. Kaya nga, when we pray, it is a dialogue with God. It is not about yourself. It is talking with God. Merong laging the other. Meron ka laging kasama. And prayer is not just about the self. It is always about the others. Kaya nga napakalayo nung difference nila nung prayer ng tax collector sa parable ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. The prayer of the tax collector said, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Be merciful to me, a sinner. Nasaan yung, yung, yung communal element doon? The moment that he recognized that he is a sinner, It recognized the others na nagawa niya ng kasalanan. Nagsisisi yung tao kasi meron siyang pagkakamali sa kanyang kapwa. Nandun sa dasal niya. At sa pagsisisi na yun, he's asking for forgiveness. He's asking na sana yung nasaktan niya, yung nagawa niya ng kasalanan ay mabigyan ng kagalingan sa puso at sa buhay. Di ba? For the other. Through the other. Ah. That I think, my dear brothers and sisters, is a very good reminder to all of us 
who knows how to pray. I think all of us pray. I think we are here to pray. And so I think the parable today reminds all of us how it is truly to pray. And that prayer is not about the I. It is always about the we. Nahihirap kasi yung prayer na about the I. Kapag punong-puno tayo sa sarili natin, makakalimot talaga tayo ng iba. Even ang Panginoong Diyos, makakalimutan natin. Kapag ka ganun, anong purpose ng prayer? Nothing. And so we ask, how should we do this? How could I pray for the others? Ang sabi sa ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. That is praying with the other, and that is praying for others. We humble ourselves. Humility is a very important component in prayer. Pagpapakumbaba. Bakit kailangan ng humility sa pagdarasal para sa iba at sa pamamagitan ng Diyos sa Diyos? Whenever we pray, there is always that element of mercy. Tayo ay nagdarasal at humihingi tayo ng awa ng Diyos. Kapag meron tayong hinihingi sa Diyos na biyaya, it is always in the context of mercy. It is not in the context now, I deserve Lord na bigyan mo ako ng magandang negosyo. I deserve Lord na bigyan mo ako ng anak. I deserve Lord na bigyan mo ako ng pag-ibig. That is not always the case. It is always in the context of mercy. Lord, kaawaan niyo po ako. Bigyan niyo po sana ng swerte ang aking negosyo. Lord, kaawaan niyo po ako. Pagalingin niyo po sana ako sa sakit ko. Always in the context of mercy. And whenever we pray in the context of mercy, nandun lagi yung element ng contrition or pagsisisi. Kasi humihingi ka ng awa. At kapag ka humihingi tayo ng awa, kaakibat niyan pagsisisi. At hindi tayo pwedeng magsisi kung hindi tayo magpapakumbaba. Kasi parte ng pagsisisi ay eh, pag-aamin ng ating mga pagkukulang. Kaya nga ang prayer ng tax collector, pag-aamin ng kanyang kasalanan sa contrition. Pagpapakumbaba. Okay, whenever we pray for others, we start by knowing and recognizing our sins towards others. Contrition. Especially our sins towards God. And the other element that, is, that makes it important for us to be humble in praying for others is reparation. Reparation. A change of heart. Hindi natatapos ang pagdarasal sa paghihingi lang ng awa sa pagsisisi lang ng kasalanan. Kailangang merong pagbabago sa mga buhay natin. At ang pagbabago, kailangan ng malaking malaking pagpapakumbaba. Mahirap magbago may hirap magkaroon ng pagbabago ang mga taong mayabang. For proud persons, it is difficult to change. Bakit? Eh, anong sasabihin lagi? Ako ang may alam ng sarili ko. Ako ang may alam kung ano ang kailangan ko. Ako ang nakakakilala sa sarili ko. Hindi kayo. How could change happen with pride enveloping a person? Kaya nga, kailangan magpakumbaba. 
in order to have that full process of praying where there is contrition and a change of heart. Kaya mga kapatid, sa panahon ng Kwaresma, ito isang napakagandang pagkakataon para sa ating lahat na magdasal. And hopefully we remember that whenever we pray, it should always be a prayer with the other and for the others. And whenever we pray for others, humility is the key. Humility that moves us to contrition and a change of heart. May our Lenten season be truly a meaningful season to all of us. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. With contrite and humble hearts, we stand in the presence of God. Let us respond to these intentions with humble and sincere prayer. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be a sure heaven for sinners and outcasts, let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That public servants may show special concern for women, children, orphans, the elderly, and the homeless, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That believers may deepen their prayer and penance, especially in this season of Lent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ and thus give them hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Father, you search our hearts and discern our needs. In your mercy, grant what we ask in prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handling them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace be You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching as one community, we all dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Be thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only but say, say the word, the word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po'y magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentators, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi na wabawin ninyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.